I would always be looking for a good map of tribes just because I was interested in tribal history and reading books about all kinds of tribes. So after years of not finding one, I decided one day, you know, let me just make my own. So I just, you know, took four posters and, you know, pieced them together and put them up on a wall and started adding in the tribes. And um, I realized that I had quite a few just from personal knowledge and then I started adding in books and uh, started asking people and that's kind of where it started. Well, I think it's kind of, uh, a lot of people have expressed how n tribal groups are kind of autonomous in nature. So there's not a lot of, you'd think a map like this might have already been created before. And that's what I was really thinking. There's probably a map out there somewhere. Um, and the more time I looked into it and didn't find one, I decided, you know, uh, maybe there isn't, you know, and um, so, I think it's important because it, it, it's kind of like a, the way Tecumseh looked at things, you know? We are different tribes, but we all are, are one. And so this map kind of unifies all the nations and says, hey, all of our tribes were indigenous to here. Um, we need to think of ourselves as Native Americans, not, not always just our independent groups, although that is important too. Um, so I think the, the focus in me creating this map was centralizing all of this scattered information, bringing it onto one visual display, and informing people, whether natives or non-natives, of who is here, how expansive of a territory tribes um, existed on and, and took care of. And, um, you know, yeah, the focus really is not on me. I, I give all the honor back to all the people that helped me make the map. And a lot of people, you know, answered my phone calls, uh, took time with me personally when I'd visit places, different tribes, museums, cultural, cultural directors, um, you know. So that's that's kind of who I, who I, say deserves deserves all of the honor for this. The map itself, um, the original idea was just to have the indigenous names that tribes used for themselves because. As a lot of Native people know, uh, you tend to see given names, names that other tribes called tribes or names that Europeans called tribes. Sometimes those are diminutive names, they're offensive. And so, and there are a lot of tribes that have never had their original name on a map. So I think it's kind of impacting at first sight. It kind of makes people stop and think, wow, have I seen something like this before? I don't think I have, you know, and look at all these tribes. You know, that's kind of the initial reaction that I get from people. Um, you know, whoa, this is amazing. And I tried to add in a lot of pictures uh, to show the array of cultures, you know, from, from coast to coast, how different cultures were. Um, I tried to put not just pictures of warriors and chiefs, um, but also women and children and different dwellings. And I tried to show things like the longhouses from the East Coast that were immense, immense dwellings. And people don't think of Native people as um, you know, geniuses, geniuses in architecture and, you know, irrigation and things like that. So I try to show, I, I try to make it impacting to where people stop and look at it and realize, you know, the true history of this land. I, I, I would like this to be something where the next generation under, under me uh, looks at it and says, wow, that's, that's our real name um, and takes pride in in using their language. As we all know, a lot of tri tribal languages are in danger. A lot of them are making a great comeback, but a lot of them are in severe danger of being lost. Um, and sometimes in tribal communities, it's just a small percentage of the community trying, trying to keep it going, at least the, the language part. So that's my main focus. And you lose a sense of who you are when you stop calling yourself by the name you're supposed to. Um, and that a lot of educators, you know, um, professors and teachers have bought this just to put in their schoolroom um, to go along with their Native Studies section of the year. And I think that I'd say about 50% of the people that have bought the map are those, is that scenario. And I think it's for a reason because people recognize what you're asking. Um, children, you need to see things like this, not just this map, but things that reinforce their culture so that they take it on to that next generation.